Everyone always told me that when I found the school I wanted to attend for the next four or five years of my life, I would know immediately. After visiting several schools, however, I couldn't find one I could see myself attending. All my friends were having success, but there was never a school that stood out to me, that is, before I visited Northeastern University. My name is Patrick Hayes, and I was given a unique opportunity to study abroad in Dublin, Ireland for my first semester of college at Northeastern. The second I visited NU in Boston, I fell in love with the rural yet urban campus, the challenging academics, and the world-renowned co-op program. The NUN program gives students the opportunity to study abroad in an option of five countries for their first semester in college. I chose Ireland because that's where my family originated and everyone has to go back to the homeland at least once in their lifetime. Leaving my friends and family for four months was a hard decision to make, but I've been looking for a chance to be independent and this was my first real opportunity. My parents did a very good job at forcing me to work for myself, and although at the time I disliked them for it, I knew it would pay off in Ireland. Saying goodbye to my friends, my teammates, my family, and everyone else I worked with over the summer was bittersweet. On September 1st, I got in the car with my brother, sister, and mother and drove to Logan Airport to begin my adventure in Dublin. I was nervous to be on my own for the first time, but I was prepared. It was time to go. It only took me one day to realize that this was a perfect place for me to spend my first semester. My friend and I took to the streets of Dublin on day one and had a great day meeting several random friends and becoming extras in a classic Irish television show, Mrs. Brown's Boys. While over in Ireland, I had the option to live at either Griffith College or Blackhall Place. I was put at Blackhall Place and it was a perfect spot for me to reside for the next four months. Blackhall was conveniently located close to the city centre and the apartments were big and homey. My roommates and I got along extremely well and we worked out the necessities for living together on the first day. <laughs> Several of my roommates also loved to cook, and we made many delicious meals that my mother would be proud of. In addition to living on my own, I attended Dublin Business School, located in the heart of Dublin. I enjoyed attending classes with Irish students, and walking to school through the city every day allowed me to get acquainted with where I was living. The differences in schooling between Ireland and the States was hard to get used to at first, but once you realize you weren't actually failing and that the grading system is different, it was easier to adjust. In addition to learning in the classroom, I was also involved in a service learning project that turned out to be one of my favorite parts of the NUN experience. I volunteered at the Dublin Christian Mission Kids Club and every time I volunteered I felt at home. In the States, I worked with kids as a lifeguard and tennis instructor so this was a perfect place for me to help out the community. These children aren't very fortunate and for many of them the kids club was the best part of their week. The NUN program also took us on several trips outside of Dublin that allowed us to deeper experience Irish culture. I loved exploring the town of Howth and catching chickens at Causey Farm, and Galway was an awesome weekend trip in which I got to visit the Aran Islands, Cliffs of Moher, and above all, experience a new city in Ireland. I also attended Sligo, in which I was able to immerse myself in nature through hikes with no cell reception. Surfing in Sligo was one of my favorite experiences of the whole trip, and now I'm one of the few people that can say they went surfing in Ireland. The boss key. Uh -uh. In addition to traveling around the country, Ireland is also really close to some of the coolest countries in Europe. I was able to visit Belfast, Amsterdam, and Berlin, and I had an awesome time experiencing the culture of these cities. Class didn't take up all my time, and I did several things to engage the Dublin community. I joined the YMCA, went to the Academy for a Z concert, jumped in leaves at St. Stephen's Green, attended church, and of course, visited the pubs that Dublin is famous for. Having ended my semester in Ireland, I can safely say that I had one of the most interesting first semesters a freshman student could have. I learned how to live on my own, how to feed myself, and how to keep a student's budget after working 40 plus hours a week over the summer. I watched my friends almost fall off the cliffs of more, I downed Guinness with the best of them on Arthur's Day, and I started to say cheers instead of thank you. Above all, I made close friends that I hope to carry with me back to Boston, and I look forward to starting my next semester in Boston.